Winter. To Madame Pomfrey. Below, Harry. Don't speak or be seen by anybody without my permission. Whatever happens, it's imperative you'll stay below. Harry, do as I say. What brings you here on this fine spring evening? Who else is here? I heard you talking. I often talk aloud to myself. I find it extraordinarily useful. Have you been whispering to yourself, Draco? Draco, you are no assassin. How do you know what I am? I've done things that would shock you. Oh, like cursing Katie Bell and hoping that in return she'd bear a cursed necklace to me. Like replacing a bottle of mead with one laced with poison. Forgive me, Draco. I cannot help feeling these actions are so weak that your heart can't really have been in them. He trusts me. I was chosen. I shall make it easier for you. Stay on the vanishing cabinet in the room of requirement. I've been mending it. Let me guess. It has a sister. A twin. The Borgen and Burke. They form a passage. Ingenious. Draco. Years ago, I knew a boy who made all the wrong choices. Please let me help you. I don't want your help. Don't you understand? I have to do this. Good evening, Bellatrix. I think introductions are in order, don't you? Thank you, Albus. But I'm afraid there are others. A little. Do it. He doesn't have the stuff. That's like his bow. Let me finish him in my own way. No! Dark times clear the void. Sister on the other hand. Do it. Go on, Draco. No! I'm about to cut out for <laughs> <laughs> 